Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this episode, I'm going to show you a way to install Macintosh operating system into your Windows using VMware Workstation. You may think this is going to be a difficult task to do, but actually with lots of genius invention, now it is going to be very easy and simple, a couple of steps then we can get Macintosh operating system running on your VMware workstation. So let's start it. To get Macintosh OS installed into Windows VMware workstation, we need those three softwares VMware workstation, Unlocker. Unlocker is the software can let VMware Workstation to install Macintosh OS. They will get this new option into the OS system when you creating your Macintosh OS machine. The third one is the Macintosh OS ISO file. It's not standard image, it's some genius change the settings to make it working for our VMware Workstation or special ISO file. You will find those ISO file and the downloading files from my video description. For the unlocker, you can see I'm using Dr. Dunk unlock this file. This is the latest version 3.0.7. You can download the source code. Since I already downloaded it in here, I'm going to unzip it. You'll find out win-install.cmd file. What you can do is you can run as administrator. But before that, let's take a look at the option we have right now. In the custom option, choose I will install the operation system later. There's a no Macintosh OS in this list. So we can uh, close this. Another thing you may want to do is uh, find out the services, VMware related services. We have quite a few, one, two, three, four, five, six. So just um, end them one by one. Make sure there's no VMware services running. After that, come back to your unzip the unlocker file folder here. Right click win install.cmd, run as administrator. It's stopping the service since we already stopped it, doesn't matter. And they are downloading VMware tools. Finish it. Uh, I already downloaded the VMware tools before, so let's make it the uh, whole process much faster. Else you will see that the install window, win-install.cmd window, going to take a one or two minutes downloading all the files. Let's take a look at the service again. Is there any VMware? Yep, the service has been restarted. Doesn't matter, so we can start our VMware Workstation Pro. Let's come up, then we choose new virtual machine. You can use typical or custom, doesn't matter. You can you choose install a disk image file. So right now you can see we have this option Apple Mac OS X. We are running 10.14, which is Mojave version. So the location, and we're gonna using a little bit more CPU on this one. Uh, we're gonna using 8 gig RAM. We're gonna using NIT default SATA. Create a new virtual disk. 
we can give a little bit more, we can give 80. You can store them as a one single file. Now we can custom the hardware. Let's take a look, final look again. Um, we can mount uh, our 10 to the 14 Mojave ISO file here. Close. Finish. The whole process is the same as you creating other uh, VMware virtual machine. The list one is have a list for Macintosh OS. You have to choose the right version and right ISO file. If you want, you can change the settings. For me, all are good. Now we can start the Macintosh OS, this virtual machine. The Apple logo is showing. Now we get this language selection window so we can choose English. Go to next step. We can choose install Mac OS as next step. Let's do continue. Let's say agree. There's no disk for us to choose. We have to go back. Let's quit first. There's a disk utility. Okay. Now we can come back. So then we go close this one, then install Mac OS, continue, continue, agree, agree. Now you will see this uh, hard drive disk to install. So the whole installation process is going to take in an hour. Uh, based on my testing, uh, depending on your computer speed. So for now, I just leave it to running. I will come back once it's done. The installation wizard just finished the installation. VMware has restarted the VM. Right now, we can see the system is loading this Mojave system. It's probably just need one more minute, then we should be able to see welcome screen from Mac OS. So you can see the welcome page has shows up. We're gonna choose our countries. I'm in Canada, so let's choose Canada. I'm using US and for the network. We can use local network. Um, we can use DHCP. Then now we are using an AT to connect to my home network. It's 
not connected yet, so we can click continue. Data and the privacy. Agree. Let's use admin password. Express setup. Let's continue. We're going to use dark. Sync dark mode. Now we are setting up our Mac machine. Boom. So right now we are in right now. Let's look at the machine. We have eight grand process is on now so all look great uh, one extra step we will need to do is you can install VMware tools Before we do that, we need to eject the CD ROM. Let's try to install VMware tools again. Double click. Continue. Install. You need the password. Click allow and do OK. The installation was succeed. We're gonna restart the machine. Now we get the full screens of Mac OS which can match your VMware workstation screen size. Let's log in again. So let everything for today's video, how to install Mac OS system into your Windows VMware workstation. Please leave me a message if you have any questions. Give me a thumb up if you like my video. Also, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.